In uh, November of 2011, the parent company that owned the Cadillac location, Premark, basically went out and filed for uh, bankruptcy protection. At that point in time, we didn't know if we were going to have a job, if they were going to sell the company, or if they were going to close the, facility, the location. So, Chuck and myself decided possibly that we wanted to maybe be business owners. Uh, we were talked to a loan officer of a bank up here that told us we had to pretty much had to get a sound business plan to to get things started to get the ball rolling or else nobody would take us seriously. He advised us to uh, go to the local chamber of commerce where the small business administration could be contacted, uh, the SPTDC could be contacted to to help us. They said so they would help us build to develop a business plan and so our next Monday morning we went to the chamber of commerce with hardly any expectations and walked in there and told what we we're looking for and next thing we know Annie, come, Annie Shetler comes around the corner to talk to us and we were able to sit down with the meeting with her immediately that day. At that point in time we basically were able to get ourselves a, a plan, a business plan going of uh, weekly meetings with Annie and with also Joe Badinger uh, that helped us structure our direction where we wanted to go from the very beginning step um, through the whole process which included you know, uh, the financing part, uh, the legal part, you know, they even as much as helped us direct us in the direction of local attorneys and accountants we might be able to uh, partner with. So we assessed the situation, we identified some immediate next steps that obviously a business plan was of the utmost importance at that time because they were looking for lending. Uh, so we started working on that. I brought in one of our growth consultants and um, we basically were met almost weekly for the next two months um, and within four months they had purchased this branch um, from the parent company which was ridiculously fast um, for the situation that they were in but they were so uh, ready to do it and excited I mean, the two of them are truly to me the epitome of entrepreneurial grit when it you know they they knew what it took and they weren't taking no for an answer because they they knew what they had in front of them our business is impacting Michigan by being able to retain seven full-time positions from day one and increasing that to 10 full-time employees as of February of 2013. Our product lines include steel and concrete culvert products and the related items, um, products for the recreational industry such as fire pit rings, boat launch planks, and etc. Uh, we do special fabrications of any type that our customers might require. Our expectations for future sales are, are, are very positive. We feel that the, with the economy turning, uh, the uptick in the housing market, uh, the uptick in manufacturing in Michigan, that uh, there's going to be opportunities for us to, to have a you know, larger base of, of customers. Uh, and we're always willing to uh, strive to develop new products as the market changes to meet the needs of the customer base. Well, the SPTDC was very professional and offered us a wide range of different information to get our business plan in place that we needed for the bank. Um, without the services and the individualized attention that they gave to us as individuals rather than as an organization, I don't feel that we would have been able to put this together in a way that the bank would have accepted, I'm talking to myself, as business owners. Don't be afraid to uh, get, get with, hooked up with SPTDC. Uh, the, uh, they are able to show you different perspectives of running the business, they're able to help you. They actually become your friends, uh, the way I looked at it. I mean, they, they became our biggest cheerleaders to help us to get through the process of all the paperwork to, to actually get everything in place. And so I would say, don't be discouraged, keep on asking questions, because they will answer the questions one way or another. They will dig deeper and deeper until they find the answers to what you need to help get your business started.